A couple of nights I had a dream that I'm still trying to figure out. To share a portion of the dream, I was inside a hotel. And I got on this elevator, along with maybe two or three pilots. And then there were a couple of other people that was um, in this elevator. And I pushed the button to go to the first floor. Well, the elevator started taking off and it started going exceptionally fast. It was just out of control. It didn't stop at any of the, any of the floors. And I'm looking at the buttons and I'm like, wow, I said, it, just, it just passed the first floor, you know, because I was on the ground floor. I started on the ground floor and it just completely passed the first floor. And I'm looking at the buttons and the elevator was going exceptionally fast, out of control. It was just going up. And then all of a sudden the elevator started turning just slowly. It was hard to notice it, but I happened to look up and I seen the elevator just turning. And I said in the elevator, I said, am I the only one that's noticing that this elevator is not stopping and it's turning? And then I woke up out of this dream. I'm still trying to figure out what that dream means. And I'm sure that when the time is right, the Most High will reveal it to me. But I want to liken that to what I see going on now in the world, especially when it comes to this whole United States, Russia, and Ukraine slash China madness that's happening. And I really don't think too many people are really paying attention. People are under a trance. The bulk of Americans are under a spell. Before I get started, I want you guys to listen to this senator, Senator Lee, that was on Fox News, and something that he said regarding Russia. What I found to be quite interesting. And in his response, he was saying that he don't know what type of alchemy or spell that they could put on Russia. But I'm going to let you hear this for yourself. Listen to what Senator Lee said. Where do we go from here? It's absolutely tragic. It's heartbreaking. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone in Ukraine who's affected uh, by this monster, Vladimir Putin, who's engaging in all kinds of horrible uh, 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 atrocities against these people. We've got to stop them. Look, I, I don't know what combination, what alchemy, what spell we can put on them. Did you hear that? I don't know what kind of alchemy or what spell we can put on them. Why did he choose those words to use? Now, he's a Republican, but we know that there's a lot of Republican rhinos out there. Republicans by name only. Americans have such a spell on them that they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. In spite of what Biden does, there are certain people, especially within the so-called black community, that still support Biden. It's like people are used to living in turmoil. When Trump was in office, you had so many so-called black Americans, I'm going to say Democrats, that was enraged at the fact that Trump was saying America only and make America great again, which consists of everyone. The gas prices were good. The, uh, you can go in the supermarket and the price were low. He was given tax breaks and... Um, they're fuel or oil independent, the United States is. 
And Biden came in and reversed it, and now gas prices are off the chain. Inflation is off the chain. With this so-called pandemic that we are coming out of, but you have these same Democrats are comfortable with Biden and what he's doing. He just handed out crack pipes to so-called black and brown people. But yet these same black and brown peoples are content with crack pipes. And I'm sure that there's so many so-called black Americans that's going to get these free crack pipes. Forgetting about the heroin that was put in the black community back in the 60s and 70s. The government did that. And now Biden is openly repeating the same thing, showing you how much he hate you, black Americans. But yet you say, I'm still satisfied with the choice and decision I made when I voted for Biden, you still support him in his madness. I clicked on Willie D's channel today. He was talking about the Africans that was discriminated against in the Ukraine and Poland. So I clicked on it because I thought that he was going to talk about that. But the minute I clicked on that video, all I heard was, that's Trump's man. Trump this, Trump this, Trump this, Trump this. And I'm like, Trump is not even in office. He's got nothing to do with this. He prevented this from happening when he was in office. But they refused to blame Biden for anything. Biden is untouchable because he's got a spell on much of Americans where he can openly give you crack pipes. And no one is outraged about that, but everyone claims to be in support of the Ukraine. This is no more than a Biden administration smokescreen. Think, McFly, think. Americans are not thinking. Americans are under a spell. The Biden administration is funding Russia's economy. He supports Russia and China. Biden gave intelligence to China. China turned and gave that same intelligence regarding Ukraine to Russia. Why would he do that? But you don't see any of these outlets that were trashing Trump and talking about the Trump-Russia collusion. They're not saying nothing about Biden giving intelligence to China, which gave to Russia. Think. They already told you the Biden administration already told you that there's nothing they can do about Ukraine. They told you, regardless of how hard the Ukrainians fight for their country, Russia, Vladimir Putin, will succeed. That will not stop Vladimir Putin. In spite of the weaponry, that the UN is sending to Ukraine, it will not stop Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin had just threatened with nuclear warfare. And the Biden administration is afraid. But no one is paying attention to that fear. And you have Democrats 
that still support Biden. Biden is funding the Russian economy. He cut off the oil supply in America and was asking Russia for oil. And you would have to pay more at the gas pump. You are paying more at the gas pump. Just this week, it went up. But you forgot about what's happening in America and everyone is now focused on Ukraine and Russia. A smokescreen. And you're not noticing the changes that's taking place while your mind is focused on Russia and Ukraine. America cares nothing about Ukraine. They even told you that America did not respond fast enough and it's too late. So America cares nothing about Ukraine. America told you that Putin can't be stopped and will, be, and will succeed. And another thing too, everyone seemed to be so concerned about Russia invading the Ukraine. You see how easy it is for Russia to move into Ukraine? Still advancing forward. And I personally don't believe all of the media propaganda that's out there and I'm sure that there are some Ukrainians that's fighting. But it's media propaganda. This is war. So you can't expect to believe everything that's told to you over the media. But it's so easy for Russia to move through Ukraine. But yet no one is thinking about the open borders here in America. How easy do you think it is for America's enemies, be it China, North Korea, Russia, how easy do you think it would be for them to cross over into America posing as immigrants or migrants? How easy do you think it is for them to cross over? America borders are not secure. And a time is coming when a lot of those, um, those cells, there's certain cells that's, that will be activated here in America. Terror cells that crossed over the border. Right now, they're just sitting quiet. You don't hear anything from these terror cells that crossed over into America because of Biden's open borders. So you're concerned about what's happening over in Ukraine and you showing support for Ukraine, although Ukraine and Poland is discriminating against openly racially discriminating against African students. No one is speaking out against Poland and Ukraine for their open racism against Africans. But black Americans are saying, pray for the Ukraine. Pray for Ukraine. So let me get this straight. You want God to intervene and help the Ukrainians that's discriminating against the Africans. Telling them they have to get off the train and let the white ones on first. Is that what you're telling me, black Americans? Think, McFly, think. So the borders are wide open in America and you're concerned about Russia invading the Ukraine. But America supports Ukraine, right? But not the African students being discriminated against. 
So I just found that to be hypocritical, quite interesting, and how there's a spell upon America or the bulk of America, and there's very few people that can see what's going on. Very few people that is aware of what's going on. And they're supporting all of this evil, especially those that call themselves Christians. And praying to God that these racist Ukrainians will be saved and delivered. Now, it's too bad what's going on over there because if it happened here in America, we'd probably feel the same way. But we warned you about that. We spoke on that movie Red Dawn when America was attacked. The same thing is happening in Ukraine. And I would not be surprised if Vladimir Putin or any of America's enemies try it here in America because America is so divided. And another thing, too, before I close, look at how hard the Democrats fought against Trump, Trump supporters, and those that, quote unquote, stormed Washington, D.C., but yet they're so soft on Vladimir Putin. They support Russia. They support China. And China dumped that virus on the world. And they go unpunished. But yet Americans are being attacked every single day by its own country. So wake up. Think, McFly. Think. So feedback. Tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.